and welcome to Schoenbaum Soccer Stadium. Got the Charleston Catholic Lady Irish taking on the Hurricane Redskins. Hunter Moles and Ferris Murad here with Video Productions. Get this one kicked off here. Big time matchup tonight. What is a top five matchup in the state, Ferris? Yes. Catholic coming out in the, the green tops with the pink socks. Hurricane in all white. Really looking forward to this one. Um, perfect night for some soccer. It's a little bit slippery out there. Ball will be a little bit slick. Should be a fun one. Um, looks like, though, Lauren Dye, leading goal scorer for Hurricane. 25 goals this year is out tonight. Doesn't look like she's dressed. Just looking forward to watch uh, watch her play tonight. Got an early corner kick here for the Irish. Ooh, he'll step up to take it. Plays one right in the six-yard line. Lots of things going on in front of the box. First singer looks to knock it back in, but it's going to go out for a goal kick. It's a big time start for the Irish. Uh, they've been very successful on set pieces this year. And uh, in a game like this, you got to get out quick. Yeah, you got to be ready to play. Set pieces always determine big time games. Usually, you got to be uh, ready to go defensively for those and offensively. You got to take your chances. You never know how many corners or free kicks you'll get. Yeah, we talked about a top five matchup in, in a game like this. You don't really have time to settle in or anything <laughs> like that. I mean, you got to get out and go. Yeah, you got to be ready to go for sure. Uh, looks like the Redskins here got to throw in, throw one up. At an Irish throw, person will take it, throws it down line. Kirby, the freshman, with the start tonight. Big time freshman for the Irish. Shannon Carr up top. Look to get involved. Try to put a couple on the back of the net. Persinger, another freshman as well, starting. A couple freshmen starting for the Irish. It's a pretty young team. Four seniors total. Amy Mullen looked to keep building this program. It's going to be interesting to see. I've never seen Hurricane play this year, but I watched GW play, and I know they beat them in MSAC on PKs, um, so they must be a pretty good team. Um, but leading goal scorer out. So we'll see how they handle that, Ferris. Yeah, we'll see if uh, uh, Avery Hale can step up. She... Comes in right behind on goals at 14. Uh, she'll be number 13 out there today and see what she can do. Need someone to step up to fill that void. Samina's got it at the top of her box, cuts it back, sets it to Mullen's feet. She's going to get by one defender. Got two more coming her way. Still involved a little bit. A lot of congestion in there. A lot of girls. Samina to take it down the goal. Great cross. Oh, just by Carr's foot. She gets a touch of that. I think that's a goal. That's a beautiful cross by Samino. Had a pretty exciting four minutes here so far. Yeah, it's been good. Hopefully uh, all 80 minutes are like this. Um, Andy Samino, definitely someone you gotta you got to watch. Uh, she's always big-time player for the Irish. Jill Uli is going to have to come ready to play as she knocks this one back post. Going to go out for a goal kick. Samino really tries to dictate that midfield. She wins the 50-50 balls. She plays a lot bigger than, you know, you look at her, you might not think she's going to dominate physically, but she does. Yeah, she's been a big part this year. Has 10 goals uh, right in front of her. Shannon Carr with 12, and Claire Mullen leads the team with 16. So hopefully they can put some in the back of the net, add some to their total. For sure, and look already, you got two, two and a half, three girls surrounding Mullen. I think uh, Hurricane should know, you know, she's got some speed. You can't let her get in behind. You can tell right away, too, both teams know how to play the game well. They look to make the right plays, um, kind of uh, some give and goes, one-touch passes and whatnot. So looking forward to some good soccer tonight. This car looks to switch it over to Sullivan. Not going to quite work out, though. Roster's a little shaky for Hurricane, so I'll try to – I've got some numbers and names. Do my best with that. 
Asher Green finds Kirby in the midfield. Kirby, man, she's looking a lot better. I mean, not that she wasn't playing good, but she's looking really good uh, later in her freshman season. Looks a lot more comfortable out there. Yeah, she's getting a big start today against big team. Uh, we'll see how she plays that one out. Yeah, good uh, cut in from Mullen. Tried to find Samino. A little bit too big of a touch, and the uh, goalkeeper is going to come scoop that one up. The thing about it is uh, Hurricane, Charleston Catholic, and Morgantown, the last two games of their seasons, they all play each other. That's a pretty, pretty interesting fact there, Ferris Murad. Just picked that one up. but uh, So last game, uh, Hurricane did tie Morgantown 0-0, and that's who Charleston Catholic will play on Saturday. So we'll see. Yeah, be interesting for sure. This might give a little insight to that game. Uh, this is Hurricane's actually last regular season game of the season. So they're uh, looking to end strong and go into sectionals big. For sure, both teams want to go in healthy, but both teams want to go in with some uh, motivate or not motivation, I should say, more so want to go in some uh, rhythm. They want to have good rhythm going into sectional play. You always, as a coach, want to see your team go into postseason fresh, healthy, and, and on some good positive spirits. This one goes out for a hurricane throw. Good touch there from the ball back post. Got a couple runners back there, see what they can do. Previous games, we're talking about this back line for the Irish. Uh, I think they'll really get tested today, see what see what they can do and how they handle that. Yes, here our first corner kick here for uh, the Redskins. Looking at number 19, Maggie Odor up top, the junior. She's got some good touches already, and it looks like she's uh, she's doing well. with the, It looks like Hurricane's trying to play to her feet a lot. She might be a holding forward up there and try to hold the ball some, but you got Delgar twins in your back. It's kind of tough. They're really good defenders. Great ball in, lofting ball. Claire Mullen steps in, saves a goal maybe there. Number four, Madison Lunsford was right there to get the header if she doesn't step up on that one. Iris doing a great job stepping up out of that uh, clearance from the corner kick. Yeah, you love to see that. Yeah, you love to see you step up quickly and you step up with some pressure and, and get up out of there. A lot of teams, man, they get they get a corner kick or whatnot and they clear it and then you got guys just standing around watching. You got to step. It's a, it's a big game of fitness too. Like you, other team is in better shape, usually uh, – usually, Probably it gives us some more chances to win. One of my coaches once told me. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. So why don't you listen to him? <laughs> <laughs> Good uh, action here in the midfield from both teams. Uwe looking. Those runs are too north-south, though. That's not going to work against a good team like Hurricane. It's just not. It's, just, it's not going to be there. Um, Got to get some runs diagonal. And uh, you might have to come check to the ball, get the ball at your feet some more, too. This one's going to roll out, looks like. Yeah, Iris throw. Oh, good stuff. That's a great play. Number uh, 22 there, Aaron Dempsey. The ball was going to go out of her, and she comes in and sweeps and knocks it off Persinger's shin, and Hurricane gets the throw. This one chips off Ashley Green's head, and it's going to go out for another corner kick for the Redskins. Iris, gotta gotta know you can't just play through ball after through ball. You're gonna have to connect some passes to feet. All top three uh, attackers are just looking to run north south uh, through balls right now. You're gonna have someone gonna check two, get the ball to your feet a little bit, connect some passes. Hurricane looked and connect here on a on a corner kick. Got everyone starting outside of 18. We'll make a some runs in though. Good stuff from Skinner. Punches that, pushes it away a little bit. Claire Mullins there to try to clear it out. When in doubt, kick it out. You ever heard that one, Ferris? Yeah, back in my uh, soccer days. Definitely went by that one. <laughs> Sub here for the Redskins. About 10 minutes in, a couple corner kicks. Not... Um, not a whole lot of great chances, but 
I don't I don't know, man. We got two really good teams. I wouldn't be surprised to see this one in, you know, one nothing, two nothing. Keep it close. Maybe zero zero. Maybe. You never know. I mean both teams Oh, that's a ball. That's a ball. It's just a little bit too much, but because it is a little slick out there. The dew. Yeah. The dew's back tonight. These late games, you gotta watch the surface, get a little wet. Yeah, so I think both teams, you know, it's late in the season. They know what to expect from each other. They got a scouting report of some kind. So I wouldn't be surprised to see a uh, good defensive performance from both teams. And, you know, <laughs> leading goal scorer, Lauren Dodd, not playing tonight. It's got to help the Irish a little bit. Yeah, you got to look at that one as positive for Good step Irish. from Kirby there. Tries to play it through to, it's like, who is that out there? Sullivan didn't quite connect. Hurricane doing a good job trying to connect some one-twos. This one I'm talking about. I like the play from Hurricane. They haven't, you know, they haven't created too many great looks in the in the speed of play, uh, but they're they look like a good team so far. 11 minutes in, from what I've seen. I think a key right now would be to maintain possession, connect passes, especially on a surface like this. I mean, yeah, I think, like you said, the surface. The girls are still adjusting to that. Yeah. I mean, they have a warm up, but. Sullivan's going to get called for a push in the back on that one. It's all right, early. Test the official. The only reason I say that's an uh, okay foul, because look how far you you are yeah. away from your own goal. Yeah. You do that close to your goal, then you're just hurting your team. But um, it's not necessarily to say a bad foul, to foul someone like that all the way down here. There's Delgra. I think that is uh, that was Vivian, correct, Ferris? Yes. Yeah, Vivian, that's a good step. Vivian usually plays right in front of Ashley Green in the middle. Ava usually plays out wide left. Yeah, another set of twin per singer right next to them. I just, I, don't know, I think it's always kind of funny, always kind of cool, like yeah. twins, you know. Oh, you, you, you know, right? I know a thing or two. You, you know a thing? Yeah. Okay. Got a big set piece here, free kick. For Jill Uwe. Yeah, Uwe's puts them on a platter. She's played some really good balls and set pieces. This one's going to knock out to Ava Delgra. She gets swarmed by Hurricane. Like we just talked about with the Iris, they step up quick. Look at Hurricane. Oh, yeah. They this is step a big it time up quick. Attack. They're ready to go. Good step Good's there. But man, that's a great step. The only thing with the Iris is through. you see uh, Skinner's going to come out and collect. The only thing with them is they kind of play like a sweeper stopper. Like they don't play a flat back four. Oh, no. Ashley Green stays back, so sometimes you're not going to get those offside calls as much because you got someone sitting in behind like that. Hard battle from both teams. Good little touch there from Vivian. Trying to find Sullivan, and that's that surface they're going to have to realize. Hey, it's a little, little slick. It's going to be hard. Uh, kind of keep those in and whatnot. Charleston Catholic Lady Irish taking on the Lady Redskins from Hurricane. Hunter Moles and the great Ferris Murad here with Video Productions. Get a sub here. His sub here. Looks like Winter's going to come in for Sullivan. Oh. Kirby looking to play one over the top to Mullen. Mullen. Oh, PK. Uh, PK here. Mullen got tripped up. Referee says, yep, that's a foul. I'm not a ref. I'm not saying it was or wasn't. Don't don't even start coming at me. I'm telling you, I'm the play-by-play. -play. And that is a foul. PK here. Claire Mullen got clipped there, and referee's going to award a PK. It's a huge opportunity for the Irish. 26-01 left on the clock. Claire Mullen will step up the hit here. Goalkeeper Madeline Willis, the junior. I have to step up big for a team here. That's a great PK. That's too good, Claire Mullen. Great PK. 
this type of surface where it's a little slick, perfect placement, play it low, hard on the ground, use the little skip, make the goalie make a tough save. And, you know, Willis did a good job. She was, I mean, she went the right direction just a little bit too late. Calm, cool, collective finish from Claire Mullen. That's a tough save right, right at the corner. Yeah, here you see the replay here. Claire Mullen got clipped. She's going to take the PK, steps up, boom, finishes it. one nothing. Irish, 26 left here. Got to love that if you're the Irish. It's a big-time start here, first 15 minutes. Yeah, yep. got got to love that. Got to love that. If you're Amy Mullen and uh, the Irish can't can't complain with that. Looks like that ball might have went off Persinger. Can't quite tell from my angle. Might be a corner kick or a very deep throw in. I can't really see. I got the wall it blocking looks my like view. A very deep throw in. Yeah, it's got probably the. Deepest throwing you can get here. I'll throw it in. Look like Del Grazer to break it up. Winner tries to clear it. Looked like it went off of uh, white cleats. So it's going to be an Irish throw. Ooh, good step there. You know, trying to find winners, trying to settle the ball. First thing you're gonna They're chip just one to up get the it out, I think. Yeah, I mean they need to look to switch the field. If you look at Kirby, yeah. look at Kirby right now. You know, she's exactly. there. They keep keep going up the sideline. Don't be afraid to use that middle some too. But it works out for them. They push it down the field some more and get another throw in. Yeah, great job to stay controlled and get that one up there. You know, thankfully the the Irish uh never mind. Big throw, Persinger goes over the top. Ball's gonna roll out, Hurricane throw. Persinger trying to battle there. Number 10, the senior, Aussie. Hurricane tries to clear, it goes right to winner. She's gonna go over the top. Oh, good stuff from uh, Hurricane defender there. Head that one away. Looked like that was Madison Francis on the head. Good throw to Kirby. A little bit of a mistouch, though. Can't quite control it. Hey, but you got to give credit to Kirby. Uh, went out county championship in uh, cross country today. She finished second in the race. Got freshman of the year honor, honors. And uh, is playing the game tonight? They uh, ran cross country this afternoon. She ran cross country before this game. Yes, finished second in the race, finished freshman of the year in the county, and the team finished first. And now she's playing center midfield yes. in a top five in a state matchup. Yes. Love that. Oh, Shannon Clark. And that one's going to – No, oh, just what a clear. save. <laughs> just clear by number four. <laughs> Madison Lunsford saves a goal for the Redskins. That Carr is huge. trying to punch one through. Ball's almost going to roll in, and Lunsford just clears it out. And she was almost so deep she almost, when she cleared it in her, in her own goal. Yeah, that was very. That was like, oh, my goodness, seconds away from being 2-0. Redskins doing a little bit of a zone, uh, zone defensive uh, corner strategy. Oh. Hold on, we got to go back to Kirby, though. So this girl just ran a cross-country <laughs> match beforehand, came in second, freshman of the year in cross-country, and now starts for the Irish tonight in a big-time soccer game. And I've got guys that complain to do a little bit of conditioning <laughs> and, and, and to do a little bit of, you know, going to weights, then a baseball game or doing this, and Kirby's, ooh, I like that, Kirby. You just got me going. Let's go. <laughs> Delga, yeah, good stuff, Ferris. Way to, <laughs> way to tell me that one. I really appreciate it. Uh. Samino's making a run down line. Winner's going to go to the middle, though, with Carr. She's going to settle it. Looks to hit uh, Uwe, but she kind of got tripped up there. Got to stay on Odor there. She's got – We're playing today. They called a foul, it looks oh. like, on Odor, but 
she's got some speed. She's got some foot skill. She's playing. Got some physicality. So, you know, she's done well so far. Like we said, Lauren Dodd, lean goal scorer, out for the Redskins. Someone else has to step up. Maybe it's uh, Odor there for the Redskins. I see a lot of. Uh, just looking at my roster, I think I only see one senior for Hurricane. And that is absolutely scary. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if you only got one senior, I mean, all these girls are just getting great experience and doing a really good job. So watch out for this Redskin team, uh, not just this year, but next year as well. We'll get a foul here, it looks like, on Persinger. You got, got to watch here, getting close to your, you know, yeah. in your uh, own third here. That was a little late too, so. Not the tackle, the tackle was late. Yeah, the late. tackle was late. It's not, not necessary. Fall. Catholic will have to uh, recruit some better some better girls in there or something. Long ball in. Hurricane chips one over. Skinner's there to collect. Big ball up. Yep, got a little push on Uwe there. Referee will start to clean it up a bit too, just because you know, got a big game, physicality. He's going to make sure he keeps it under control, which uh, is needed. Ball right above midfield here. Chips one over the top. That's a great ball. Ball back post. Got an offside call, though. That's goals, goals taken away. Said it was offsides. It looks. I, I, I'm assuming they called Odor offsides. The the one who got the first touch. Great ball over the top, and I, I'm assuming it was Odor that was off. Maybe the. I can't tell who scored either, but maybe the. The red skin player that scored, maybe. Persinger going to end up with the ball here. Got winner down line. Got to take some off of that one. That's going to roll out for a goal kick. It's a little bit wet. Don't have to play it so hard, but you live and you learn. Goal kick here, Madison Francis. He's got the biggest save of the night, I think. Oh, that was, I mean, one over is 2-0. For sure. It's a big time early uh, difference. Yeah, it's a early. big difference, big time. But Hurricane did just score a goal that was offsides too, so they they got some chances coming. Yeah, we've had a quite an exciting first 22 minutes here. Samino tried to hit winner over the top, but Hurricane defender's there to clear it out. Nice little step over there. Who is that? Is that Kirby? Kirby with their fresh legs. Kirby, straight out of the cross country, Max. Oh, my goodness. Man, got to love that if you're Amy Mullen. Have uh, someone like that on your team. Good step from Vivian. Man, I wish I still had the body of a freshman. Oh, stop it. <laughs> it was, uh, looks like there was a foul called on the Irish there. So kind of a set piece here for Hurricane. They they did technically score a goal on the last set piece they had. It was just offside. So see if they can put this one in the back of the net. Number 13, Avery Hale. She's got 14 goals on the year. Second leading score on the team. Let's see if she puts one back post or she has one. She's going to let it go. Oh, Puts it on target. Good save by saves it though. Testing the goalie here in this yeah, it wasn't no dewy condition. For sure, I like it. Go for it. Good punt from Skinner. I mean, even if she does drop that right from the goal, yeah, you, you get the rebound, yeah, right? Yeah, you're gonna for have sure. someone right there. Put her on target for sure. I like it. Great throw from Carr. Smino can't really settle it though. Hurricane looks to, to clear it, goes right to Ava Delgra. She looks to play Kirby, but I think Kirby thought it was supposed to go to somebody else. She let it roll. It's all right. She can have a break there. Got a 
big time environment here. For sure. Got the Charles Catholic boys team sticking around, trying to cheer on the girls. Ball finds Uwe. She's going to look to switch it. Claire Mong gets a good touch. She's going to look to hit it to Carr. Great touch by Carr. Chips it to Semino. Oh, Semino could get a touch on that one. She would have had a chance. But good stuff from Willis to come out. Good stuff from that hurricane back line. Look at the speed of these two. Oh. That's a foul. It's going to be a yellow. Yeah, there. But so it's definitely a foul, no doubt about it. It's definitely a yellow card, no doubt about it. But Vivian Delgro and um, Odor, Maggie Odor, and I, and I hope I'm pronouncing her last name correct, the, both of them are physical players. Both oh, of them yeah. are we, fast we've players. Seen that the first both of them are, are very good players. So, you know, I think Delgro went into that one thinking that Odor might try to push her back. Yeah. Odor was smarter. She said, hey, push me, watch this. She just draw the yellow card on you. And, look, you and now you get another you set You can't piece. get much better position than this. Well, you could be right in front of the goal. Well, but, uh, I mean, I'm just messing with you. But ball back post, good ball in. Well, right over. Straight through. Yeah, right over a little bit of everybody. But now well, you got to watch, though. Zui's going to clear this one up. Now you got to watch. You got Vivian Delgar, your, you know, center back or stopper yellow. or whatever position you want to call it, sitting on the yellow. And still 15 minutes left in this first yeah. half. So you got to be careful. Let's see how Amy Mullen plays that one. You know, some coaches might say, you got a yellow, and we're going to – we definitely can't have you get another one, and we play down a man. So, I, you know, I played for a guy in college. Once you got a yellow, they wouldn't play you. They would take you out and they wouldn't play you. But we were very good. And we, had we had guys on the bench that could step up and play. So we'll see what Amy Mullen does with it. Back and forth from both teams. Honestly, I don't know. The Irish have done pretty good in the midfield. Look at Kirby. Put a little pitching wedge over the top. Winner is going to cross one in, but no one other than uh, Francis, I believe, was there to clear it out. She's been at a big-time game so far. Odor, man, she's got a good touch to her and some speed and physicality. I like her game. I like the switch there. Yeah, Irish doing a good job. They're trying to pick out some passes, but um, Hurricanes got a good back line. They good they step. play together. Hurricanes back line play together very yeah. well. They step together. They drop together. You can tell, you know, this is a, a team that had this whole season. They've won some games. They've played some big games. And, um, you know, they're, they're out here without their leading goal scorer today and coming ready to play still. Wait for this goal kick here from Francis. Fifty-fifty balls, Ferris. Always important, especially in games like this. For sure. First and seconds here. Who's going to win it? Good step from Uwe. Goes all the way back to Francis. She's going to try to head it out. Goes right to Uwe. Good step from the Hurricane defender. Couldn't quite tell who that was. That's a great step, though. Looks like it was Brianna Price, the sophomore. Here comes Odor. Good cut back. Good stuff, though, from who is that? Ferris? Lanning. Lanning? That's a good step, a good tackle. Definitely stepping up in place of Vivian. For sure. Go on, Shannon Carr. Use that speed. Great cross. Nobody else but Francis. I'm telling you, she's everywhere back there. She's done a great job today. Number 12 for Hurricane Redskins. She's everywhere, man. She's uh, she's really doing well back there. It's probably she she did save a goal herself early on. Um, if you weren't watching, the ball was about to roll on the goal, and she a came out. She just goal. came back and and got it out. Um, it's been an interesting first half. Lots of opportunities for both teams, to be honest. And. Charleston Catholic, they've got a goal off a of PK. Claire Mullen got uh, tripped up. <coughs> Referee uh, awarded her a, P a PK. So, Uwe's going to send this one in. Back post. Shannon Carr, I think. Go to nothing. Is that Shannon Carr? Uh, I couldn't. I think it's Annie Semino. Annie Semino with the goal. Great stuff, Annie Semino. Great ball by Jill Uwe. That. That's like her fourth header off a corner this year. She had, and Uwe and her, they, for some reason, they always pick each other out on these corners. Uh, great back post ball by Uwe. Annie Semino's there. 
Let's just watch this replay. Louie does a good job putting it a low lofting ball or a high lofting ball. Perfect. And he puts it right back where it comes from, puts it in the corner, goal. If you remember me saying earlier, man, Andy Cimino, big time player, definitely someone to watch for for this game. Uh, Vivian Delgar is going to come back into the game. Just got a yellow card about four minutes ago. She so got a goal from Claire Maughan, a goal from Manny Semino. Irish up 2 0. 11 30 left here at Schoenbaum Soccer Stadium. Delgar going to hit this one up. Hurricane, though, try to settle it. Going to give it right back to the Irish. Kirby looked to switch the field. No one quite there. Ava Delgar going to run over and try to keep it in. Can't quite keep it in. So if you're Hurricane, you gotta you just gotta stay uh, stay the course, keep picking out passes, then try to find the back of the net, take it one goal at a time. If you're the Irish, you gotta keep your foot on the gas. You might be up 2-0, but oh, most definitely, you, you gotta, gotta keep, keep your going. foot on the gas. You gotta keep doing what you're doing as well. They always somehow like revert back to these long through balls that don't always get through. I mean. This right here is working. Um, I would say our comments earlier about this game might be 1-0, 2-0, or 0-0. We're definitely wrong. I mean, we might see some more goals. Who knows, though? It might stay 2-0. You never know. We'll see what happens. But I just think Hurricane, if they create chances, I mean, Irish going to, as you see one here, great ball over the top. Good stuff from Skinner to come out. I think uh, referees gonna call out a foul too. Didn't want didn't want the uh, Hurricane defender touch the goalie, but you know both girls going for the ball there. Nothing, nothing too serious. Could Actually, just could just be keeping the game in check. I mean, late game in the year, for you sure. Wanna, you want to keep everyone healthy and safe, so for sure, good little movement there by Avery Hale. She's done a good job in the midfield. Yep. He's going to start calling those. Yeah. And I like that, though, because he's being consistent. Yeah. He's being consistent. He's called that already. Semino looking to go quick. Oh, this is big. Plays Carr and uh, who was that, Winter over the top? Yep. Ooh, somehow keeps it in. Good stuff from Winter. Can Carr get across her left foot? Lays it on the ground. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh that, was a, that could have been a great chance. You get over top of that, make it 3-0. Well, it was a weird angle for Ooh yeah. because she's right-footed, okay, mm -hmm. and the way she was running into it. It would have been perfect if she took a touch with her left yeah. and then, bang, put it with her right. But Which we don't know how much room she thought she had. Exactly, so. exactly. But <laughs> shout out to Shannon Carr, though. She right-footed. She just played that cross on her left foot. Yeah. That's good stuff. And also winner to keep that one in. So good play for the Irish. Um, and it was a great through ball. Yep. It's a great ball over the top. Great ball over the top. From Annie Semino off the free kick. For sure, for sure. Semino can do a little bit of everything, man. She yeah. does a little bit of everything. She did a good job playing that one quick. Got it out. Beat the defenders. Winter tries to settle it. Just tries to chip one over the top of the car. Car gives it to her feet. It's got a little time and space. Hits Kirby. It's going to slide Ooh. out and go for a goal kick. Kathleen doing a good job staying on top of things and keep possession but it's also the 50-50s right so yeah. like as soon as hurricane goes to clear it Irish oh, are yeah. the, they're, they're, the Irish aren't um, just kicking it back to yeah, them yeah. they're settling the ball they're winning the 50-50 then they're making some possession it's right here these 50-50s what are you going to do Kirby gets the first one how's the second ball who wins it Claire. Catholic you see what I'm saying yep. that's what I mean right there those first and second balls are very very important but Ball over the top. Willis, big punt. Great punt. Goes over Semino's head. All over it. Yep. Persinger there to hit it. Kirby tries to clear it. Now Vivian finally steps up and oh. rocks on it. <laughs> Shancor didn't think that one was going to go by the Hurricane defender. She might have had an opportunity there. Ball over the top. Persinger does a good job of keeping the Hurricane defender or attacker, I should say, away from that ball. Yeah, Hurricane's doing a good job of staying physical, keeping in the, keeping in their backs, just trying to get it back. But yeah, like they're they're being physical without fouling. Yeah, like they're doing a good job at that. They're being physical without fouling. They're not fouling a bunch of people. They're just they're being physical, yeah. and that's how you got to play this game. You can't 
You, you have to be physical without fouling. Throw in there for Persinger. Carr tries to settle it. Good little turn. Fine. Ah, she had Cimino in the midfield. Decides to drop it, though. Someone's got to talk to Persinger. She, she goes quick. Sometimes she's got time yeah. to take a touch and get her head up. Might like to see a switch there. Well, I think they, the, the, the Irish, they go, they get tunnel vision a little bit, and they just go yeah. to where they're, they're facing, which isn't a bad thing sometimes. But I see Samino and Kirby open in the midfield sometimes. When these someone like outside back or outside wing, find them in the midfield. Let the, Kirby and Samino are your play, and Uwe are your playmakers anyways. Find them. Get the ball to their feet. Let them play the, the runners over the top. <coughs> Throw in here for Redskins. Vivian Delga's there to step up. Ordor is there battling with her. Yeah, she's trying to be careful there. Yeah. Persinger set up. Oh. I'll take the yellow. She better be careful because yeah. that was a blatant foul. So, you know, Ordor, I like her game, man, because she plays physical, but then she'll, she, she she'll gets in your you. head. She'll she bait get, you. She gets in your head a little bit, and yeah. she, she lets you come in and foul her, and it's like, look, this is a perfect set piece for the Redskins. Yeah. And that all starts with Ordor out there. I mean, she really does bait you into that like stuff. She'll hit you, and then she'll let you hit her back. Look, what's open right here, if you get a near post run, now they're going to play it over the top, man. you got to play a low, hard-driven ball on the ground. That front post is wide open. you got, man. And now uh, the counterattack's on yep, here. Yep, counter's on for Carr. They definitely had an opportunity. Need someone. If I'm mm. – they try to play Uwe through. If I'm Hurricanes coach, I'm – I'm, I'm looking at that one on film. I'm saying, girls, look at this. Look at the front post. Yeah. All we need is a front post runner. Someone play a – whoever's taking it, play it on the ground hard. It's already wet, so it's going to move pretty fast anyways. And then all you got to do is just put the ball in the back of the net. Yeah. Because that was there, man. If I'm the Iris, you got to have someone over there. You can't leave that whole front open like that. Odor doing what she can to, to settle at her feet, trying to find uh, – Trying to find some white jerseys. Claire Mullen going to pressure Francis here, and she's just going to have to kick it out. It's going to be Irish yeah, throw. There. Almost at the four-minute mark here. Two nothing at Schoenbaum Soccer Stadium. Oh, Irish yellow for the coach. <laughs> you got to be careful here if you're the coach. Had enough of him. <laughs> uh, I like it though. I like it because. Uh, She's passionate about her team. She's, she's going to take – look, you would rather the coach get a yellow than, than a player get the yellow. Um, your coach, Shelly Young, I believe, who got the yellow. I'm assuming that's Shelly Young over there um, gets the yellow card. But she's passionate. She wants a, she wants some more calls. Yeah. And uh, she's going to do what she has to do. Nothing wrong with that. That's part of the game. Oh, Dora, great turn. Look at him. And she got speed, foot skill, great ball. Oh, yeah. Maybe a 1v1 here. Skinner. Ooh, just wide of the bar. Hold good, on good now. Good job there. Skinner, a lot of credit. Great Cut job. The angle. Cut the angle. But you got to give credit to Vivian Delgra. Yeah. She just ran and foot, like, she ran back, put pressure on that left side. That made the attacker, I think it was number 13, I think it was Avery Hill. She didn't feel like she could go to the back post because she had Delgren on that shoulder. And Skinner cut down the angle, but that's great stuff. Sometimes you see through balls and center backs are like, oh, it's over. You know, and they kind of just jogging. But, no, Delgren said, I'm, I'm going to help you out, Skinner. I'm going to put some pressure. I'm going to sprint back. Yeah, that was a good save there. But that's a great chance. A lot from Odor, yeah. man. That's a turn ahead, like two girls oh, on yeah. her turn. A couple dribbles up line and perfect ball. She's had a really great first half here, three minutes left. For sure. And and Avery Hill, I mean, you can't ask for anybody else if you're the Redskins to have that opportunity. She's got 14 goals in a year. Yeah. Just under three minutes here. Redskin throw. Looking to go down line. They end up with it. Hill ends up with it. She's going to cut it back, making a couple moves. She's got three Irish Swarmed girls around quickly. her. Yeah. Which you, you love that if you're the Irish and you're down there in your defensive third, you gotta throw bodies. Throw in for the Redskins. Ashley Green's there to break it up. Ballin gets a touch on it, hits it up the car. They got Winter up up on the right side. See if they can find her. They do. 
Good step by the uh, defender here for the Redskins. I believe Ooh, that's Jaden Kinder. I think she Kinder. got it off of her. Yep. Freshman Jaden Kinder, number 16, has played a pretty good game out here for the Redskins as well. Redskins just going to knock this one out. Good pressure from Kirby. You know, just ran a cross-country match, came in second, freshman of the year. Put and up 40 minutes. Like still, it was <laughs> still putting in a putting in an absolute shift out here on the soccer pitch <laughs> as well. 40 good minutes. Yeah. Wonder if she'll play boys basketball too. Oh, yeah, you'd like that. Yes, I would. See, winner with the throw here. Going to look it over the top. Samino. Does a oh. good job of controlling. You know, she had somebody uh, pressure on her back, but can't get the pass back to a winner. Almost at the minute mark here, 2-0. Uh-oh, hand hand handball. Here. This is this could be something because Uwe, this is yeah, this, this is, is Jill Uwe territory where she can put a good ball in. So, um, and definitely. this is the same spot where I talked about for Hurricane, right, to play that low-driven ball. Look how Hurricane defends it. They put two on the wall. Now, I don't think it's the same exact spot. But you get what I'm saying? Yeah. This defended a little bit different. Now, we'll probably hit this one back post. That's a beautiful ball. Claire Mullen. Oh, my oh. goodness. What a ball. That was perfect. <laughs> that was perfect. Hey, hey, it went out for a throw in, though. You got him pinned back deep. Oh, my goodness. So it all worked out. Put it on a platter, Jill. Ooey. Sheesh. That's a ball. Man, that's tough. All right, so 2 0, most dangerous scoreline, oh. they say. Oh, yeah. That's He's smart. Move Ferris. that one back here. Okay, that's fine. Uh, if I play with a guy, shout out Drew Litton. He did that every single time. And most of the time, the refs don't call it. That's just being smart. <laughs> Take what they give you. Yeah. Because they were pinned way back. Yes. Step up until the referee blows his whistle and makes you push you back. You should do that every time, in my opinion. Ten seconds here. Looks like we're not going to get anything, but... Good half both ways. Both ways. Hurricane I mean, had some big opportunities, just haven't gotten to convert yet. I think the game has, has lived up to the hype for sure. So 2-0 here, Charleston Catholic leads uh, Hurricane Schoenbaum Soccer Stadium. Stay with us. I'm sure it'll be exciting last 40 minutes here on Video Productions. Hunter Moles and Ferris, Murad, be back here shortly after half.
All right, welcome back to Schoenbaum Soccer Stadium. Get this second half started. Hurricane going to start with the ball here. Charleston Catholic leads 2-0. Exciting first first half. Couple yeah. couple yellow cards. Saw a lot of good things both ways. Yep. Couple yellow cards, couple goals, couple big saves. Definitely entertaining. Good soccer from both teams. AR is going to call that one out. Next goal, biggest goal of the game. Absolutely. Got to uh, next goal, and it's just so important. I mean, if you're Catholic, you you get a goal here, you stretch it up 3-0. Big foul call here on Ashley Green, right outside the 18 box on Odor. And that who ball's, else is involved? Odor. Yeah, I mean, she's she's been everywhere up top tonight and um, drawing a lot of fouls, and respectfully, I mean, she's physical, she's fast, so it's – I don't think girls are trying to foul her, but it's she draws fouls. And right there was a weird bouncing ball, and Asher Green kind of stepped in front of her. We've got a three or four girl wall here. Shannon Carr's trying to get in there too. Yeah, it's a, it's a good angle. Go! Great shot. That's a huge goal That's right a, there. What we say? What next. we say? Next goal was most important, but to score it a minute and 13 seconds into the half, that you, is huge. You now have. 38 minutes and 47 seconds left. You're down one goal. You For have sure. all the momentum. You just changed the game. Yeah. So who, I think that was Hale. I think that was Avery Hale who took that. For sure, as she shakes her head to the student section. Talk your stuff, girl. Talk your stuff. I love that. Go ahead. Watch this. Re Is this a replay? Are we showing a replay? Yeah. yeah, replay right here. Knocks it front post. Goal. Big time goal. Iris knock it all the way back to Willis in goal. This is big. If you're Catholic, you just want to keep playing how you've been playing. Stay strong. Uh, you got that was bound to happen. You got to avoid fouls in that final third. Yeah, uh, for sure. Set pieces win big games. They've had way too many opportunities off free kicks down there. They even got one called back in the first half for yep. offside. So yep. something like that was bound to happen at but, some point. But it's a learning it's a learning thing for the Irish, okay, we can't foul so much against good teams um in our in our defensive third. Now you you're playing a team that isn't as talented as Hurricane, you might get away with some stuff because teams won't finish those set pieces. But you're playing big games, big uh big teams, big plays are gonna happen. Yeah. You gotta be you gotta be smart. Gotta give credit to Hurricane though. They come out firing. Yeah, that's big for them. They just took all the momentum right back. And now they're like, what's a one-goal game? We get one goal. Kirby looking to go to Marlin over the top, see if this one stays in. Nope, it does not. Be a hurricane throw. Freshman Kinder will step up to throw it. Good little flick there from Avery Hill, I believe. No, that wasn't Avery Hill. My eyes are getting that bad the older I get, you know. Yeah, you're real old. I think that one's going to be a goal kick. No, I don't think it is. <laughs> Your eyes are getting bad. <laughs> that's, that's a throw. Oh. That's a throw as deep as you could get. Wow. Yeah. That's, that's a, a rough position to be in. That's what you get for calling me old. Good step from Odor there. See if she can keep it in. Oh, another Hurricane throw in deep. Doing a good job pinning him back here. Yeah, they for just sure. want to keep that pressure on. Irish got to look to switch. Yeah, I mean, you, you got to be able to you, feel it over here. Is yeah, you got to be able to play in tight spaces, though. That's pretty good, though, if you're the Irish. You like that. Push up a little bit. Get another throw. Switch fields here. Good Maybe. hold for Jill. Oh, Louis. yeah, that's good ball. there. That's good. Jill Uwe, man, she plays some ball. Ball over you the top. You got Shannon Solomon. Carr across. Good stuff from Willis. Oh, hits the ref. Oh, ref is a part of the game. I thought that was going to bounce back to Shannon Carr with an open goal. So what's what's the call though? I'm not quite. Is he calling a drop kick? What is this? Ref is a part of the field. Oh. 
Yep. <laughs> Unless they changed it. They may have changed know. it, but. I don't uh, know what that's for. Battle in the midfield. It's been real physical all game. Like we said, multiple yellow cards this game. A little bit back and forth for both teams. For the Irish back line, you got to try to find feet if you can when you do clear it. Get a handball here called on Hurricane right above midfield. See, see if Uli will step up and she's going to go kind of quick. Referee wasn't paying attention. <laughs> it's unfortunate for the Irish. Uh, but if you don't ask for 10 yards, you are not – you don't have to uh, – you don't have to give 10 yards unless you ask for it. Uli never asked for it. You cannot just come forward. And I don't think the Hurricane player came forward. She just stood there. And um, so I think it was a fair play. Great ball from Francis. Solomon on the run again. Tries to hit Carr, finds her feet. Got Mullen out wide. It's a good idea, just uh, not enough field for that. Shout from Amy Mullen across the field. Makes me want to get out there and run a little bit. Kirby going to clear this one up. Broken up from Hurricane. Both teams kind of playing it back and forth here, and uh, I think everybody's getting a little excited. Somebody needs to settle the game down a little bit, find a little possession, connect two, three, four passes in a row. <clears throat> you see both teams just kind of just going back and forth, looking for through balls. So uh, Claire Mullins down. She's going to need a sub, it looks like. Drop kick, I think. I think it's just a little cramp. Yeah. Hopefully she'll be back soon. Big save from Willis. Oh. Good job, Willis. With her own player on top. That's what I'm talking about right there. Put your body on the line. Kathy really banging on the door these last couple minutes. It's getting to the point where every single person uh, watching this game thinks everything's a foul. And it's uh, kind of frustrating when it gets like that. Um, if you guys, if anybody wants to be a referee, I'm sure we can find a link to sign up to be a ref. They need refs. Yeah, we're actually at a shortage right we're now. We're a shortage for refs. So if anybody wants to be a ref, we can find a link and you can take the class. I'm being dead serious. Uh, we can find a link, find the class for you. Through ball here to Sullivan. She's in. A little left foot. Good save, oh. Willis. She's right footed, so that was going to be tough. But yeah. um, Willis did a good, had a great angle. She had a great angle on that one. I probably would have wanted to go back post, though, because if Willis doesn't hold it, yeah. you get a rebound right in front of the goal. Yeah. Which, and to be honest, she probably was trying to go back post. She just yeah. couldn't I mean, get like it there. Said, weak foot. Yeah. So. Throw in here for the Irish. Trying to hit. It's like Carr up there on the right wing now. Couple subs for Hurricane. Two one here at Sean Baum. Irish lead Hurricane in a fun, fun game to call. Foul there on Persinger. She's got to be careful. She's got a yeah. lot of fouls. So eventually, these you're going to get carded. Francis going to step up to hit this one. Step up. Step up as far as a referee will yeah. take you. I mean, that's just what you should do. I mean, I, me, I'm going to put the ball up to the blue line where the blue line is right now until the referee says, 
hey, the spot's yeah. here. He's backing it up now. Uh, so. And that's what they're supposed to do, and that's what you should do if you're Francis. Take as much as you can. Francis, big ball, good ball, back post. Asher Green's there to head it first one. Got a foul and hurricane here. and Looks like she got a little tangled up with her arm. Asher Green, they got they could go quick. If Delger, if yeah. Delger would get wide, they just go quick, keep it on the ground. I think Iris need to, you know, when they have the ball, spread more. Right now it's like they're not using yeah. the, the width of the field enough. But then when they do get it toward the side and it gets overcrowded, you got to go back to the middle. Yeah, but you have to t be able to turn out of that middle. And that's the thing is Hurricane is staying, you know. That ball is still in. Staying attached to you. Give him a goal kick. It looks like the ref. And I'm not – just want to make this clear, Ferris. I'm not saying it's a goal kick. I'm saying that's what the referee called. I'm not a referee, and that is clear across the field. I can't even see it. Just calling the game. Ball over the top. It's a good little attempt. Hale was looking to get her uh, second goal of the day. She got – she had 14 in the year going into this one. Scored a, a, a beautiful free kick. Yeah. Minute 13 seconds, I believe, into this half. Put her up to 15 goals. If you weren't here early, um, Lauren Dye, the lo leading goal scorer for Hurricane, is not dressed tonight. She's got 25 goals on the year. So would have loved to seen her play. Hopefully everything's good, though. She'll be ready for the postseason. Also, if you weren't tuned in, uh, Kirby, number five for the Irish, she's a freshman. She got done playing. She got done running a cross-country match earlier, came in second place. Great through ball there for Uli. I wouldn't say great. It's too much. But back to Kirby, man. I mean, you run a cross-country match and you come out here and looking like she's going to play 80 minutes. Well, you don't just run a cross-country match. You finish second. Yep. And then you get freshman of the year. That's awesome, man. That's a that's – a, it's a tough, tough time, tough day for. Get a foul here. Going to get a hurricane kick. Francis takes a lot of the uh, deep kind of free kicks for Hurricane, it looks like. Good ball, good long ball. Get a little bit of a flick there, but Semino's right in there to kind of poke it out. can look to go somewhat quick. Good little flick. This one going to knock off Odor's hands. But from my understanding, though, if your hands are tucked and it hits you like that, it's not a handball. I don't know. I'm not a ref. Claire Mullen's going to come back on here. Clock does not stop in the game of soccer just for this. Good save there. Great save. Great little flick. It's really tough to watch a game, though, when everything is nitpicked from the referees. Um, don't get me wrong. I think the coaches should because that's their role as a coach. Fans have a role in the game, too. It's home field advantage and all that stuff, too. But the guys in the yellow put their shoes on the same way as everybody else. So guess what, Ferris? They're going to make some mistakes. With that being said, when I'm coaching, I, I mean, I want every call to go my <laughs> way, too. You know, that's how it goes. I understand that. Yeah. But sometimes you got to realize you're not going to get every call. A lot of back and forth here. I'd like to see uh, girls get the ball at their feet, play a little more possession. Got Haven't a seen. Save here. You got Winter out there trying to make a run. Is Winter a freshman? Is she a freshman? I believe so. No, sophomore. she's a sophomore. Sophomore. She's a sophomore over there um, uh, against, uh, I believe it's Jaden Kinder, the freshman. So some young girls out here playing. 
Got a bright future for both of these teams. Looks like Hurricane and Cordy Myros only have one senior. Irish have four. So, I mean, both of these teams and programs are looking good for the future. I'd like to see a little more possession here. <laughs> hey, I've, I've been saying it, man. Like, I think both teams are so excited that they're just going over top, going over top, going over yeah. top. And it's like someone in that midfield just turn and try to get your head up. But you got to give credit to both teams. They, there's a lot of pressure. There's a lot of pressure on defense. Yeah. They're staying attached to girls. So, like, girls don't want to turn the ball over. So, they're like, let me just go long. Yeah. It I makes mean, sense. But, like, if you're hurricane, you want to keep the momentum on your side, keep pressing up. And uh, if you're Catholic, you can't allow another goal. I'd like to see the outside backs get a wide and use them a little bit for possession if you're the Irish. Get some subs here. Looks like Claremont will come back in. Went out for maybe a cramp or so a couple minutes ago. Throw in here for the Irish, and they're attacking third. Just under 25 minutes here in the second half. Hurricane going to poke this one out. Odor is going to send it up. Vivian Delgar's there. Hurricane always do a good job from what I've seen so far of stepping up as a unit. Yeah. Yeah, they got up there quick. I think the Hurricane back line does a really good job playing together. You can, they just seem like they're on the same page. It's going to be a foul called, I think, on Hurricane. A little push in the back. Semino's trying to flick it. See what Julie Uwe can do with this one. Man, she's played some good balls today. I mean, that one in the first half? Yeah. Whew. She, that was crazy. A whip in. Claremont got her foot to it, just couldn't score it. See what Uwe does with this one. She's going to have to really put this one in the air back post if he wants to get something. And she does right at the top of the 18. Oh. Cars there tries to flick it, but looks like it. Percy that was, no, I think that was hell there for Herc and got it away. Can't quite see him. That might be it. Ooh. I couldn't quite see. I know Solomon <laughs> was trying to take her on, but we will go out for a goal kick. Might be offsides, actually. Oh, yeah. That, Somebody was offside. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Delgar there to win the first. And Solomon good settling it, but gives it right back. I think Kirby and Semino need to ask for it. Get a little run here. Harkin might have a chance. They're saying play on. Referee is going to get that's a good ref. That's, that's a good referee. I mean, I'm not saying if that's a foul, if it's a foul or not. I don't. I'm not a ref, right? Yeah. But what I'm saying is, is he let the advantage happen. Nothing happened from it. Now he calls it. And you get. Hale step up. She's already got one free kick goal. Mm -hmm. A little bit more to the left. And, yeah, and it was it. and it was right outside the 18. But this is a is a dangerous spot for a, for a uh, free kick because you're kind of in the middle. So the goal, I mean, you can go either way with it. And your wall, you don't know where to put the wall. Do I? Yeah. You know, I can't really put it to one side or the other. Looks like Amy Mullen is going to get yelling a little bit too. We saw a yellow for. Um, for Coach um, Coach Shelley Young in the first. Now the two coaches going on it. Uh, they're just talking to the ref. Nothing. So it's part of the game a little bit. Referee's going to get on to to coaches, say, hey, settle down. Um, they do got sectionals coming up, so, you know, both coaches need yeah. to be ready for that one. I mean, we were – we were talking about the game beforehand, and we wanted to see if teams were going to go into it into into this game and kind of battle it, or they were just going to come in and, and kind of just go through the motions. But, man, this has been intense. Both teams definitely want to win it. Hale steps up the kick. Good ball. Right over the 
kind of chipped that one. She didn't really drive it like she did on the first kick. She could hit those, though, for sure. Goes out for a goal kick. Dale, we're going to step up and hit the free or the goal kick. Excuse me. Nice little ball by Uy and heads up. Ball's up here in the stands for us. What is that? 20, I don't have 28 on my roster, but right back was a good step from her for the Redskins. Throw in here for the Iris. Solomon will take it. Looks to hit Carr. Goes to, over top of her head, though. Ball gets a little lost there. Oh. Good Iris, idea. Iris got to use the width of the field. Yeah. I, Jill was trying to do that. Um, Bad angle. That one gets over. Winner trying to make a run here. Francis, though, there to sweep it out. Winner oh. takes it right back. Tries to find Carr in the middle, but it's broken up. Redskins clear it out. Nice little turn there. Just didn't quite make it through. Vivian's going to clear it out. Almost at the 20-minute mark here. It's going to be intense because it's 2-1 scoreline. Yeah. I mean, it's going to be intense. Um, I would just say the Irish are in control only because they are up one goal. I mean, it's back and forth. It's 50-50 game. But the only edge I give the Irish is they're up a goal. So they have a chance here to uh, – Carr's going to – Shannon Carr's yellow. going to get a yellow. And I, I, to be honest, I have no clue because I wasn't – the ball went down the field, so I was looking towards the ball. But she probably did something after the play. She's going to have to come off here. Yeah, you got to come out in high school when you get a yellow. You have to come off. Brown's going to step in. Palmer Brown will stop, step in. Got a couple Hurricane subs waiting to come on, too. But like I was saying, I give the Irish the only little advantage of the game just because they're up a goal right now. But 20 minutes left, it's anybody's game still. So you got 20 minutes left. Are you more focused on getting another goal? No, you just play. Or don't you just play. Okay. You just play. You just play. You you never go. You never play the game until maybe real late. You never play in the game like, hey, let's just uh, play defense or hey, we got to score. Like especially when you're up. When you start doing that, you you're not playing your game anymore you're just I don't know it's, you, you gotta keep playing put it yeah. that way you can't yeah. you, you just gotta go you gotta play the right way I'm not sure what's going on here the referee is telling these girls that he don't want to hear and I'm okay. I'm with it I'm with it 100% everybody's talking too much let's play Let's play. Let's play. Stop talking to the to the to the guys in yellow. Let's play. But this happens, man. <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> it, it happens. It's, it's, it's a game. big time game. It's an this game, man. Everybody's competitive. Everybody wants to win. So it's going to happen. Possession has not been there here though for no. either team. Um, Probably the whole second half. A lot of it's been back and forth. Oh, good turn. You don't see that happen very often, of like a good turn on, on one of the Delga twins. But Vivian, I think she's faster than some people think too. Like, you know, they got a turn on her, and she still gets right back into play. So She's a key piece back there. I remember she's still playing on a yellow. Yeah, she is on a yellow. She's got to be careful with that. But she's done a good job of – yeah, you just don't want to put yourself in those 50-50 tackles where yeah. something happens and the referee has no decision. Like, he has to give you another yeah. yellow. So, he's got to be careful. But the referee doesn't want to give anybody a red card on this game because, like we talked about, both of these teams expect to be playing late in the postseason. Ref knows that. He's not, you know, he's not dumb. He knows both of these teams are about to get ready for postseason. So, he, if unless it's absolutely necessary, he's not going to send anybody <coughs> off. Lots of subs for both teams. See how the conditioning works out. It's 
Kirby out there? No, she is not. She yeah. came off a little bit ago. Yeah, she deserves a break. Very, very understandable. Iris doing a good job of stepping up as a unit, but got to find some possession. Okay, Iris, you got Claremont and Shannon Carr off right now. So hope to get them back on soon. Yeah, I mean, you probably hold them off uh, another two to three minutes, maybe put them back on with 15 or so left. And, and you give them some uh, – Instruction like, hey, this is what I want from you. Once it gets to this point of the game, if it's still two one, you know, maybe I want you to drop more, or this or that. So, yeah. Then, if you're everyone else out on the field, you got your top two goal scorers out. You got to step up. Yeah, but you're not in. Like we said, like you keep playing, but it's like. You don't need a goal, like you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, but at the same time, like if you get the opportunity, yeah. If you, you got to run, you got to go huge. with it. I Man, I think if the Irish score now, this late in the game, I think they'll win. Just because I don't know if it's enough time for Hurricane to score two to tie it up. Yeah. You know if you're I mean? this late and you, if you get another goal, I think. Two. Yeah, I think you might be good. You might be golden, but I don't know. Hurricane's very talented. Should be exciting, exciting finish. Harkin looks to clear it out. I oh, got a call here. Couldn't quite uh, see myself. Maggie the door is trying to make a run up line. Let it do run out of bounds. Oh uh, yeah, ball just went over the line. Good see, defense. like look at the right side of the field. Like literally yeah. the whole right side of the field. There's not one player on it. Like exactly. There's a good ball. Oh. Well, what I'm saying is, is if you if you just switch it over there, you yeah. got plenty of space. But you have to have someone out there. Like, yeah. oh, Sullivan was open there in the midfield. If you hit her feet there, she might have a chance to get a shot off. Get it back here, deep in the corner. You could do something with this. You gotta, if you're on this back post, you got to be ready. Got to be ready for a ball coming. But if you're the Irish defense, got to be ready for a counterattack too. Good stuff from uh, is that winner or landing. It might be landing. He was landing there using her body well, shielding it off. Sub here for both teams, I believe. Winner tries to flick it. Can't quite flick it, though. Goes out of bounds. Hurricane throw. Another hurricane throw, I believe. Good win there from Winter, I believe. And that far side feel get tough for me, fair. Yeah. yeah. Hey, I gotta go back to the to the eye doctor, huh? <laughs> Glasses getting a little weak. That's a f uh oh. O'Doul's gonna get a card here. A oh, red. The a only red. thing is uh, O'Dor gets a red here, straight red. And um, the only thing I can think of is it's maybe language. I don't know. Doesn't matter. She got a red. She she's out. Okay. Got to If you're hurricane, got to move on. Um, obviously, she's upset. Nobody wants a red. And uh, the hurricane coaching staff wants an explanation, as they should, as they you know deserve. They're going to get an explanation. Um, I'm not quite sure what happened. But there, it, but we're not going to know. Yeah. We're not going to know from up here. It is what it is. Uh, we're not going to know. So we're not going to sit here and start guessing. You know what I mean? Yeah. So. It is what it is. We don't know. She got a straight red, so it is what it is. Um, my thing is, if if I'm, 
I'm a little nervous now because <laughs> on a straight red, like I don't want to see, I don't want to see anybody else get s- sent off because both teams are, are late in the season. It, this Hurricanes last regular season yeah, game, so right? Yeah, so their their next regular season game will be sectionals, and that's a straight red. I think that might be two games. Maybe, I I think it is, but it is what it is. Got to be careful now. Once I see that, if I'm a player, I I gotta know. Okay, the yeah. referee is a. He's sort of aggravated, like he's 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 had enough tonight, so um, he's going to uh, he's going to start calling stuff. So you just better be careful if you're out there. Which I felt he has been quite consistent throughout the night. It just for the most part, yeah. I mean, yeah. he's been consistent. But I'm here to do play by play for a soccer game. I don't. I'm not really. <laughs> Yeah. I'm not here to judge the referees. I'm tired of talking about them. I ain't talking about the refs no more. I'm done. I'm done talking about the refs. I'm done talking about them. I'm talking about soccer game. Hurricane, Charleston Catholic, both very good team, talented players out here. Can't wait for this one to, to finish up. Last 1430. We'll have a Free kick here. Ooh, you'll take it. Hurricane line playing a little little far up. Ooh, yeah, we can probably put one over the top. One. She could probably put one over the top. Yeah, there it is. She does. That's a good ball because it's not right to the goalkeeper mm. either. Can you save it? No. But that's a, that's a good idea. Yeah. Because if you play it where the goalie can get it, you know, you got to play a little bit to the corner. She had two runners. It's a good idea. Yeah. And what's the worst that happens? It goes out for a goal kick. And then you just got to win the 50-50 ball anyways. Which they've done a great job. Yeah, they're, they're going to compete. So, Marlon is about to sub in, I believe. No, Shannon Carr just came in. Did she? I believe she did. It looked like Marlon is still out, I believe. Oh, good little touch there. Yeah, it, it looks like she's been having some cramps. So, Lungsford, number four. She has some swifty moves over on the left side the second half. Good stuff from Ashley Green. Yeah, that is Carr over there on the right side. Well, you got to watch, too. When you get later in here, you'll see um, sometimes it just depends who the coach is. They like to sub because keep the clock running. Yeah, so, yeah, and, yeah. And it's not a lot of time, but, you know, 10, 15 seconds. Yeah, you know, it can add up. Yeah, it adds up a little bit. So you might see her uh, sub a little bit. Here in this last 10. But sometimes if if they start to catch on to it, the referee will, will stop it if it's going to be a really long sub. So it just depends. Just keep it. Some Keep it. Keep it. <laughs> I want to see two, three, four passes in a row. Because I think both teams are better when they do that. That's why I say that, Ferris. Like, yeah. don't get me wrong. They're so talented that if they do get certain through balls or they do play this the speed they have, I get it. But the defenses are pretty good too, and they're setting back because that's all both teams have done the second half is look to go long. Let's see if we can get some build up play. But something we haven't mentioned really, Herc is playing down a man now. Yeah. So. At what point in time does the coaching staff say, hey, let's send someone from the back four up. Let's play with three in the back. Yeah, um, I mean. I would say definitely not until ten maybe. But at some point you have to because if you're going to lose. Exactly. If you want to lose, you might as well lose, yeah. right? Persinger running onto this one. Good defense from Hurricane though. Keep it. Just keep it. Focus you on got, this possession you have time. You got Samino in the midfield here. But that's what I'm saying. You have time. You're up a player. You should be able to keep some better possession. And if you're the Irish, you just can't let anything in behind. you got to be careful. You know, you got some big-time players for Hurricane. You don't want someone like Avery Hale to get a rip, too. I mean, she's already got one goal today. 
And you can't foul deep in this. Yeah, you don't want to give them no set pieces. Because, to be honest, that's Hurricane's best chance right now, I think. Oh, yeah. Is a, is a set piece. Is Look. a corner kick or a set piece. That's how they scored their goal tonight. And the one that got called back as well. Yep. So. Yeah, that's their best chance to, to really tie this thing up probably is a set piece. Got plenty of time. Someone check two. Brown trying to take it down line. Looks like we oh what they call it is hurricane throw. Yeah. So it's a hurricane throw. Yeah. So the the Catholic subs can't come on. Not yet. Not yet. Good turn from Semino. Way to use your body and shield the player off. Now we'll get some subs here. Good stuff from Hale just to get a touch on that one. Get Kirby back in. You get Marlin back in. You're gonna get the starters back in. So, except for you got Winter out wide right. I don't think she started tonight, did she? No. Um, Fisher's not in. Marlin looks to switch the field. Goes right to um. Or Solomon. That's a good spot right there. Yeah. This is like the same, kind of the same spot that uh, Avery yeah. Hale scored, right? Like, you could do a lot of things with this right here. But if I'm the Irish, I'm taking my time. Oh, yeah. Because, like, on the free kick, sometimes you go fast, but you're up 2 1. It's under, nah, it's under 10. I mean, so. She's going to go for it here. I don't think she waited on the – did they blow the whistle? I didn't hear a whistle, but – I don't – if if I'm um, – let's put my coaching hat on, right? Mm -hmm. Or Not coaching, it's commentary a little bit. If I'm Jill Uwe, instead of putting that in the air, it's a little slick, right? Mm. All you got to do is put a hard-driven ball to that right post, that back post there. If the goalie makes a save, she's probably not going to be able to hold on to it. Exactly. So yeah. they get a rebound or she pushes it out for a corner. Yeah. So I would – my biggest thing is keep it on target. Like those right there, I understand everybody wants to go top bends and stuff, but keep it on target. And Julie probably did want to keep it on target. She just mishit it a little bit. Get up. Get a uh, – Injured player here for Hurricane. Hopefully she's good. She hopped up. So eight thirty left here. And I'll be a dead honest with you, Ferris. Hang on. He did. He did stop the clock here, so she will have to come off. I'll be dead honest with you, Ferris. I was very excited for this game, and uh, it's been a great game. But I can't wait for it to end. <laughs> Just being dead honest with you. Sure, there's three men in the yellow as well. I'm not talking about them no more. I didn't say. It. I didn't say the. I didn't say the word. I ain't talking about them no more. <laughs> Irish throw in. Fairmont tries to hit one down line. Car's gonna run onto it. Hurricane defenders are there though. Car looks to turn. That's what I like though. You know, she's trying to keep it a little bit and get her head up and find feet. That's good stuff. Yeah. That's your good, and, and that's fine if you're in the back, right? Because yeah. you're in the back line and you're up one goal with eight minutes. So, yeah, put it up towards the – And you're switching To it. your wingers, you know, put it up. Send it. Yeah. But if you can, let's play feet. Mm. But I'm saying that and maybe they had a different talk at halftime. You know what I mean? Yeah. Maybe this is their strategy. Maybe they don't want to play. Maybe they do want to play direct. So, you I never know. know. You, you never know. know. What do they call it? A foul maybe? Yeah. Be a foul here on the Irish, so big kick here. It's a good ball. Good step though from Persinger. Ball over the top. Can car get there. Good stuff from number twenty. I don't have twenty eight on my Hurricane roster. She's done well here in the second half at right back for the Redskins. Hurricane throw here. 
in their own defensive half. I think they got a sub coming on. And looks like Madison Lunsford coming back in. She had to go off because of the uh, referee stop play for injury. I think she's good though. I think if you're hurricane, you got to go here. Yeah, but you're down. You're down a man too. So it's gonna be tough. It's gonna be tough. But uh, the Irish. I mean, I think at this point you got to push up way more. Well, I think they should go three in the back if you really want to try to get one, which they might. I don't think they have yet, but um, if I'm the Irish, there's no reason you shouldn't win this game. Oh, yeah. 6.20 left. You're play Hurricanes playing down a girl. And uh, top goal scorer out. Top well. goal scorer out, too, for sure. Definitely got to mention that. What was that? Winner out wide, right with the ball. Look at the cross, maybe. Negative ball, on the Negative ball maybe. Oof, almost got to car. I like the play on the ground, though. Got a call here, though. Keeping it real close. Yeah, it was some, some call, so the Hurricanes kick. Madison Francis will step up to hit this one. She's, she's got a big foot on her. Great game, too. Yeah, she's she's... She's the one that saved the, the goal yep. early on, right? Yep. It's been an exciting game for sure, though. Lots of action. Oh, uh, yeah, two great teams. Like we said coming in, top five matchup. I knew it was going to be a good one. For sure. Shamino trying to get stuck in there with uh, Jaden Kinder, the freshman. Kinder, the, the freshman, has played a great game. A lot of good freshmen on the field tonight, though. Oh, yeah, both teams young. Yeah, big both futures. teams, for sure. And you see now the hour shirt. I wouldn't say parking the bus, but they're they're not messing around. Like, they're not – they yeah. don't want to turn it over and give a quick counter. They want to turn it over in the midfield. So, they know five minutes left, up a man. Yeah, so. just, just keep everything in front yeah. of you and send it downfield if you have to. Don't play stupid. Easier said than done sometimes. Yeah. Right. Good ball over the top for Hurricane. Green heads it right to uh, Vivian Delgris, clears out. it out. But if you're the Irish attacking, like the top girls, they got to try to – they need to try to get the ball at their feet and keep some possession high up the field. You don't want to try to keep possession in your own defensive yeah. third or even really in the midfield at this point in the game. But if, yeah. you're, if you can get it, take that ball at your feet and uh, just try to keep it, run some clock. When in doubt, send it forward. Francis is going to lay this one back to Willis. He's going to play one up. Samino's there to win the first one of the 50-50s. And you see now with Hurricane down a, down a girl, I mean, it seems like the Irish have two to one everywhere. Yeah. Like they have numbers everywhere, I feel yeah. like, as they should. But. Ball down the line to Winter. She's got some speed, but not enough to keep it in. Persinger sends it right back up. I think the main focus is just keep it out of there, half the field. For sure. Ball down line here. Delgro will probably just try to send it out as she does. Hurricane guys send some girls forward if they want to try to get one here in this last three minutes. I got a call here. Yeah, foul here, so it's going to be a free kick. Ooh, he'll take step up to, uh, or more so step back to take it. Green or, or uh, Delgar will take him sometimes. But Uwe can hit him just a little bit farther. Had a state player of the year. Audrey Miller used to take them things last year. And what a player she was for In the Irish. tonight. Oh, is she? Mm -hmm. That's funny. I didn't know that. But All right. Good step from Carr. Yeah. Who are they? I'm going to say it's an Irish throw. Yeah. 
you got Mullen down line. You can't be off sides on a throw in. Irish got to be careful, though. Yeah, you're stepping up. Left. Well, well, it's not that it's two minutes left. It's you stepped up, and now it was it was 3v4 back here. Yeah. That's, I mean, that's capable of getting scored on. Like, I mean, I guess it is three minutes left. I shouldn't say don't think about that. But what I'm saying is, is somebody's got to see that in the back line. Say, hey, you know, one midfielder, stay back. You got to, got to communicate. I always, as a goalkeeper, I was always getting nervous at these times, and I would start talking more, like mm -hmm. up 2-1 with five minutes left. I would talk so much more yeah. than I did regularly because I want guys to understand, like, hey, we need to do this, this, and this, and just trying to shout direction and X's and O's as much as you can. Yeah, you're just trying to finish this one, get out of here. Yeah. Hurricane will be done with the regular season. Catholic will head to Morgantown on Saturday. Tough matchup there. Already said that Hurricane tied them 0 0. Yeah, so that'll be a tough one. Uwe just going to send one up. Under a minute here. Willis gets the ball. If you're the Irish, you just got to keep winning these 50 50s and keep pushing it forward. Mm. Ball down line. That's a good ball. Don't want to foul there if you're the Irish. Maybe the last chance here. If I'm, if I'm the Irish, I'm getting everybody back. Yeah. I mean, you have four people back here at midfield. Yeah, I'm getting everybody back. Nobody cares. It's 30 seconds left. Get, get 11 girls behind the ball. Same with I'm Hurricane, though. I'm stepping yeah. up. I'm, if I'm these back two in the center, I'm like, hey, let's go. Maybe goalie. Uh, it, it might be do it right there. That's a goal kick. It might yeah. do it. That's it. You got to think, though, that's a pretty big win, though, for Charleston Catholic, single-A yeah. school. Uh, knock off the MSAC uh, champs, Hurricane. It's a pretty good game for both teams. It is just a game. It is just a game. There will be more of them. That will do it here at Schoenbaum Soccer Stadium. Charleston Catholic Lady Hours beat Hurricane 2-1. Fun, entertaining game. Um, Hunter Moles and Ferris Murad, as always, shout out to Butch Mountain Video Production for hosting. Uh, good luck in postseason to both Hurricane and Charleston Catholic. Until next time, everybody stay safe. Thanks for watching.